Girls Skateboarding Afghanistan. Boys do that, and I'm a girl, so I don't do that. appreciate what this story is about. The project began in late 2012. I was flicking through newspapers and I saw a very small article, just a couple of inches high, and it was saying girls skateboarding in Afghanistan. And I thought, I want to see this because I've heard only doom and gloom from this part of the world. And in a conservative society such as Afghanistan, in a war-torn country, how remarkable that girls are doing this. So that's how it started. And by June 2013, I found myself at the gates of Skaterstar in Kabul. The director of the museum, Henry Kim, met up with Jessica in London and was immediately won over. And he had the vision of exhibiting the photographs outside. I stood there at the gates of Skaterstar and I saw these little girls running about in amazing outfits. They hadn't been asked to dress up for me, the photographer. These are their clothes, and they really dress up to go to school. It's lovely to see that for them it's a big event. When they arrive at Skaterstan, they go straight into the classroom, so it's not just about skateboarding. They're getting an education as well. But the really difficult part for me was when they got into the skate park after their lessons. They're like kids in the sweetie shop getting their favorite skateboards. And then there must have been about 20 girls flying at me in different directions on their skateboards. And I'm thinking, how on earth am I going to capture in still images this sense of untapped joy and optimism? When I came on board, I realized that if you looked at these through one lens, they're pure portrait photography. They're trying to capture the essence of that person. At the same time, they're documenting a glimpse into something that's outside our known parameters and stereotypes. And when you look a little closer, you think, oh, wow, I, I didn't expect to see these girls with headscarves and wonderful outfits skateboarding. I knew nothing about what happens in these other places. Everything the press presents to us is only a fraction of the reality. I love portraiture, but I also love storytelling. I went there because I thought, this is a charming, uplifting story. I didn't realize that what I would start documenting would encompass not just girls from there, but a message for girls everywhere, which is the power of sport to offer a chance to be a child and to develop your own personality. It's also about community. These girls develop friendships. They support each other. I wanted to highlight those different aspects of what Skate Stan is doing and what these girls are experiencing. So I decided to create different approaches for the monoliths from each different angle. As you approach the museum, it's the portraits of them as individuals. And then from the other angle, where cars are moving and people would be moving more, there's a row of blurry action shots. And then on the park side, that also faces their smiley center, I highlighted girls helping other girls, girls learning to do things together and celebrating each other's successes. Once I started working on the programming, I realized that surely in Toronto we have girls who skateboard. So on the opening night, we have girls skateboarding here, opposite the action shots of girls skateboarding in Kabul, thereby joining up Toronto and Kabul through sport and pointing out that we have more connections than we realize with far-flung places that we often forget. It's 
It's very appropriate that these portraits premiere in North America at a museum that is about enlightening people about other cultures. Because in a world where there's an awful lot that's trying to put us all apart, it's wonderful to have something that reminds us what we actually have in common. We all know what it's like to feel the thrill of laughing and doing something that you want. <laughs>